the next concept is economic profit economic profit takes the perspective of all investors this is debt based as well as equity based investors economic profit is no pad minus dollar back now no pad is ebit into 1 minus the tax rate if we consider a simple example let's say that we have ebit of 25000 and the tax rate is 40% then our no pad is 15000 then dollar vac is calculated as our overall vac so this is the percentage multiplied by the capital in our simple example let's say vac is 10% and the capital is 150000 the dollar vac then will be 15000 so that's shown over here the economic profit is no pad minus dollar vac in our example this is zero and the point being made is that no pat is our net operating profit after tax but if we look at our overall cost of capital that is the same so in economic terms we haven't really generated a profit the market value added of a project is simply the present value of the economic profit for each year so if we have a multi year project we calculate the economic profit for each year and then we find the present value the present value of the economic profit gives us the market value added for that particular project moving on to residual income residual income is equal to net income minus an equity charge so for a given period we will have a net income and then the equity charge is the book value of equity at the start of the period multiplied by the cost of equity so net income is what is available to shareholders but obviously there is an opportunity cost the opportunity cost is the required return on equity times the equity investment which is essentially the book value at the start of the year so this expression gives us the residual income if in year 1 we have this much net income and this is the equity charge cost of equity times the book value at the start of the year the difference of these two numbers gives us the residual income one way of calculating the npv of a project is to take all these residual income numbers and come up with the present value so that is what is being done over here if we have this npv which is the present value of the residual income across all the years the total value of a project is equal to the present value of the residual income plus the initial equity investment plus the debt investment so add all these numbers and that gives us the total value of a project claims valuation the basic capital budgeting approach is to value the asset which is over here on the left side of the balance sheet the claims valuation approach values the liabilities and and equity the claims against the assets so on the balance sheet you have liabilities and equity on the right hand side with the claims approach we value the liabilities and we value the equity and add those numbers one simplistic approach is to find the present value of payments to bondholders and stockholders so all the payments that need to be made to bondholders we find the present value that gives us the value of liabilities and then all the payments that need to be made to shareholders so dividend payments share repurchases we find the present value that gives us the value of equity add those numbers and that gives us the total for liabilities plus equity which is equal to total assets